This program contains graphic images which may be disturbing to sensitive viewers. The people profiled all survive. Discretion is advised. Well, this is the actual infamous anchor. For retired Washington, D.C. police chief Maurice Cullinane, this boat anchor brings back nothing but bad memories. The day in question was the last day we were going to be in Florida. It was March 1st, 1994. Maurice and two buddies were fishing in the Gulf of Mexico, just off the coast of Florida. Everything was going along just fine, and then we had an accident. A strong wave knocked the 10-pound steel anchor off the boat and into the water. The nylon rope stretched tight, suddenly snapping the anchor out of the water like a slingshot directly into Cullinane's cranium. What are the odds that you could pull an anchor out of the gulf and pull it right back in the boat and land in the back of my head? I've seen a lot of foreign bodies still protruding from the head, but I've never seen a boat anchor protruding from someone's head. The anchor entered his brain through the cerebellum, which is in the back of the head, and entered directly forward and at an upward angle, um, about a 45 degree angle, and penetrated about eight to nine centimeters into his brain. With the anchor embedded four inches into Cullinane's skull, the challenge facing doctors was getting it out without killing him. The metal still being in place can do what we call tamponade. It can damage a major blood vessel, but keep it from bleeding because it's still there. And so there's a risk when you remove it that the patient might suddenly begin bleeding quite badly. During the intense two-hour operation, surgeons had to carefully remove fragments of Maurice's skull to free the anchor. He had no infectious complications. His brain healed without any uh, need for reoperation or further uh, cleaning of the brain. He just sailed right through the whole thing. Uh, sailed, no pun intended. Ironically, it turned out the design of the anchor actually helped save Cullinane's life. Where it landed was right here on this end, which went into my skull. It would have gone in and in one side and out the other, but it hit this. That's what stopped it. Since Cullinane's bizarre ordeal, he's lost some of his peripheral vision, but none of his nerve. He's still an avid fisherman.